welcome to Talent Open Studio for Data Integration. In this tutorial, we will check the difference between the T schema compliance check component available in Talent versus the T file input delimiter. If you go to the advanced settings, we can see an option called check each row structure against schema so what is the difference between these two so the t schema compliance check component will check the incoming data with the column data types and the length of the column so let's take an example we have defined the schema just with one column id and the data type is integer and the length is 10 and we are using t schema compliance check so what t schema compliance check does is it will see if the incoming data is integer and if and it also checks for the length if it is greater than 10 then t schema compliance check will capture that in reject flow and it will provide the error description let's say if the number is greater than 10 then it will display the error the length is greater than or max than the defined length in the schema so the t file input delimiter check each row structure against schema what this particular option does is it will validate the structure with the incoming data let's say i have an account file and it has four columns that is the metadata defined in the repository we have 10 records in the file all of the records has four columns separated by you know the delimiter but out of that one particular column has only let's say two columns out of four so what once we check the option check each row against schema what this will do is it will error out or it will reject that particular record which has only two columns and it will display the error message so let's go ahead and implement a job with these two options so i have already created this job i have used t compliance check and I have selected the advanced option the advanced settings we have the option check each row structure against schema so I have selected this particular option and I have used the T compliance check component so let's quickly see the schema available in the repository so this is our t this is our uh, account data schema available in the repository so we have four columns and we have integer integer string and integer as a data types length we can see over here so what i have done is I have edited the account file so that we will get these two sorry we will get these two first two records in our reject flow so if the first row has
compliance problem or compliance issue so what is that so we have defined in our repository we have defined district id as integer and the length as 2 so what t compliance check will do at the runtime once we once it receives this record in the flow it will check for this particular number to the schema information available in the repository so that is nothing but integer that the number is integer that is correct but the length length is the issue here length we have defined it as 2 but whereas the data has length as 3 so what t compliance check will do as this is not in compliance with the definition in the repository it will reject this particular row and we can see the information in the log so the next record and the line number 3 has only two columns whereas we are supposed to have four columns as per the structure defined in the repository so what this option does is it will check that particular record against schema available in the repository and it will realize hey the structure is not matching the record to the 3818 record is not matching or not in compliance with the structure available in the repository so it, it is supposed to have four columns whereas it has only two columns so what that option does is it will reject that record and we are capturing that record to the t log row 3 similarly for t compliance check all the records are all the valid records are going to t log row 1 any of the record which is not in compliance with the schema that will go to the t log row 2 so let's quickly run this job So the job has successfully executed. So I'm more interested in only two components. T log row one is all the valid data. So let's not worry or let's not look into it. So the other two components, T log row two and T log row three. So where is T log row two? So here is our T log row two. It is connected to the T compliance check. So as we tampered with distinct district ID and it says exceeds exceeded the maximum length. Of course, we have purposefully changed and increased the length. So it has captured the record 576 in the reject flow. 576 and this is the district id 553 whereas a uh, length defined in the repository as 2 whereas a data incoming data has length of 3 so that it has been rejected and the error message has captured so that is the usage of t schema compliance check so when we use this particular component it will check the incoming data with the metadata defined in the repository for the data types let's say in an integer field of district id a character is coming so similarly it will reject that particular record and it will display the error message might be you know data type mispatch or we have to see what what error it will display 
but it will definitely reject that uh, record with a proper error message to it. Or in the case of length, if the data type matches, but the length is more than what we have defined in the repository, right? So that's the usage of t-compliance check. Whereas check each row structure against schema, that option is useful only to validate the structure. So structure in the sense, whenever we create a metadata, we will have the number of columns. Let's say we have four columns in case of our account data. So all that option does is it will validate the incoming data with the structure defined in the metadata. So in the metadata, we have defined it as four columns, whereas the data incoming data has only two columns. So there is a structure issue, right? So that particular option will validate the structure and it will display the error message as columns missing, right? So that's the basic difference between those two, the component and the advanced. If you go to the advanced settings in the component, T file input delimiter, check each row structure against schema versus T schema compliance check. So that's the that's basic difference between those two.